So hi everybody, today we are going to do a review of the Vera Vera Craft the embossing and cutting machine. Alright, so let me show you what the machine actually looks like. So it looks like this. It's a relatively big machine. This is the 9 inch one. So let me show you some of the features of it. So the first one is on this side here. As you can see, this first one has your cutting, your 2D embossing, and your 3D embossing. And then down here, it step number two has um, where you change the tension of it, whether you want it tighter or whether you want it looser. Okay, so let me show you the next thing that I really like about this machine is on the bottom, you have your suction. You have four suction pads there. And then let's go ahead and open it up. You go straight straight out and then straight out. And it looks like this. And then you're probably thinking to yourself, where is the handle? So now the handle on one of these side ones, sorry, this is kind of, let me bring you down. On one of the side ones here, you will go and you open it up. You grab that lever and open it up and you have your handle. Now to get the handle in, we just pull down on this and then we find out where that hole is at and then we let go of that lever and it's in there and we can turn it. So isn't that great? So I'm just going to show you the plates and then I am going to show you um, the different things that I've cut out with it. So this is the large size one. Okay, so first they will give you an adapter plate and this is for your steel dies. It says for steel ruled dies only. This is not a cutting surface. And the next one is your cutting mat and they're both nine by 13. This is for your cutting dies. And then we have our nine by 13 platform. Okay, and they're all 9 by 13 so they can handle your A6 cardstock and anything smaller than that also it can handle. And so over on this side, I have stored some of the little things that I have made. Now first, I took this little letter press and I went ahead and I inked it up with this um, sponge sugar distress ink and I made this right here this right here you can see how pretty that is and how that shows up and then the next thing I did is I took an embossing folder and it is this one here by crafters companion and it's the little um, um gosh what are they called dream catchers and so I embossed that out on the other side here. So you can cut that out or you can put ink over it, whatever you want. Okay, and then the next thing I did is I took some die cuts that I bought and this one had the stitches on it. So you can see the stitches on it. Okay. And then the next one I cut out was just out of some packaging mirror cards, cardstock and it's got the scallops on it. So we've got that, it's a rose gold, and then you can put like that on top of that, because I always hate it when people like use marigold and then they, they need to leave, I feel like they need to leave more space. So there you go, that could be embellishment, these could be embellishments. And, okay, let's see. And so you can see on this paper how well it cut this one out, because this was just, um, like I said, it's just packaging, and I just, Put it down with some washi tape, okay? And then the rest is cardboard. So I put that one on a thicker setting so that it would cut that out. And there's that die. And see all the little, the little snippets that went right through the die. Just cut it so, cut it so nice and well. And it's always a good idea to clean out your dies when you're done with them. 
So yeah, I found it to work really well for the die cutting, for the letterpress and the 2D embossing. I do have a 3D embossing folder. I just don't have it with me, but yeah, it's worked great for everything so far. And I love these because these are storage on each side. And you can also put your handle in here, which I love. And then when you're ready to actually die cut or emboss, all you have to do is these are out like this. You can tell there's space along here is you just push them in and it's ready to go. And it's nice and it's sturdy and it's not going to go anywhere. And let me show you the samples of what I cut out one more time. So I did this one. This is just a regular die cut on like packaging. And then we have an embossing folder, the dream catchers. And then we have the letter press design. And then we also have this little one for the, the die cutting, just a regular piece of paper, pa patterned paper. And so, yes, I find this to be a very enjoyable machine. And also the other thing, let me bring you up again. The other thing that I really love about this machine is it's not as big as other machines. And I like that, like I said, you can open it up like this, fold it up, and then you're good to go. You've got storage on the sides here. You can put your handle away and it's a smaller size. So if you happen to have a smaller size craft room like me, I'm just down in the basement here. Um, you can put this on a shelf. You can take it with you. It is substantially heavy. I would imagine that this weighs, well, I don't know what it weighs. Let me see if it says in here, but I really do like this bigger one. And what I like about this pamphlet here is it will, it will give you instructions on how to do the different ones and how you need to rotate them. But no, it doesn't say how much it weighs. If you know how much these weigh, if you happen to have one, will you just go ahead and leave a comment? But it gives it gives good instructions for how to use with your cutting dies, if you're cutting dies and embossing, and then you've got your steel rule dies, which I don't have any of, and those are the thicker ones that you can use um, um, like when you're cutting out fabric and things like that. So that works really well for that. And then we have our embossing folder, how to use that. And then how to use the 3D, um, 3D embossing folder. And I only have one of those. It's a Christmas one. And then the texture plates. And I haven't tried on those yet, but I do have texture plates. And I have a couple of the letter plus plates like I showed you. And that actually does work really well. You could probably, if you wanted the letterpress ink to work a little bit better, you could always just use letterpress ink, but I just used the Distress ink because that was what I had on hand. So I'll show you the samples one last time, and then off we go. So this is with the letterpress. You can tell it did the scroll really well, and you can see it really nice. And then this other one is the Dream Catcher. Okay, and then this next one here was just a regular die cut from packaging. And then this other one was just a patterned paper um, die cut. So I hope you have enjoyed this review. I've really enjoy, I really enjoy using this machine. Again, it's the Barra Barra cutting and embossing machine. If you're interested, it is available on Amazon. And as always, Thank you for watching and you, yes, you are so very kind. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.